Good morning, Algonquin. I am Mr. Messia. And I'm Mr. Gala. With your morning news. But first, here is the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, wait, I think we mixed that up. I. Uh, <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Well, a big shout out to Mr. Williams for starting our morning off on Wednesday with that outstanding SpaceX launch live from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Big time in it here for everybody in cyberspace. Attention all grade eight students. Grade eight students applying for English nine honors course, you're reminded to submit your application no later than Friday, March 20th. You should email your response to your ELA teacher directly Part two of the application is an exam, and that date will be determined upon our return to school. Thank you. Warrior Way Assembly is coming up this Friday. It's tomorrow. This is much anticipated. We've talked a lot about it this week. So tune in tomorrow for our Warrior Way announcements. We got our first assignment Algonquin ready to go here for you. This one being sponsored by the AMSPE department. We want to know what you are doing to stay active during the school closure. We want you to email us a Google Drive video, picture, or written response link with the activities that you've been up to, and you can add them also to your PE journal in Google Classroom. Email those to Mr. Messia by Sunday at 7 p.m., coincidentally the same time that AFV kicks off on Channel 10. Mr. Massey, I can't help but notice that you haven't shaven. It's been a couple of days here. Actually, since school closed up shop, I haven't uh, taken out my razor and uh, cleaned myself up a bit on the face here. Huh. Well, you're not quite caught up to me yet, but it sounds like maybe we should keep this going. Yeah, I want to look like the guy on the uh, right there. Oh, I was trying to look like him too. Well, there you go. That's great. Well, we'll see what we can do here as we have a no-shave corona over the next couple of weeks. And we'll see if we can send out an after picture, maybe we'll look just like our friends here on ZZ Top. No shave Corona. Let's get it trending on Twitter. Whoa, here's a guy who looks like he just recently took a shave right to the old noggin. Mr. Morehouse with a high from over here. He sent us this picture, asked us to share it along. He's going with the low maintenance haircut during this coronavirus season. I think it's a good move. I like the idea. It's great. He's certainly closing in on me, too. Just no. a little bit more off the top there, Mr. Morehouse, and uh, we could be twinning. Very nice. We hope our next picture from Mr. Morehouse has a bright smile that we're used to. Sports and weather update here on our morning announcements. So with sports, there's really not a whole lot going on. Turns out when you social distance, it's kind of hard to play sports. There is some news about some guy from the Patriots not returning to the Patriots. I'm not too sure. How's that guy? What's his name? Tom? Tom? Tom Bradley? Bradley, that guy. Uh, That's, right. That's Brady. right. Brady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom I've Brady. seen him on TV. But he's not playing there anymore. Yeah, yep. he's on the sidelines. Yeah. That's yeah. deflating news for the Patriots fans out there. In other news, we have weather every day. Today, 50 degrees, kind of rainy. The weekend kind of looks nice, though. Good time to get out for a walk. Send it in for your assignment, Algonquin. Nice. And now we promised everybody some gymnastics with this weather report. And here we go. We're going to deliver for you. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Nice somersault here in the weather department. Nice job. there. Random question for you, Mr. Messi. What you got? You have a green thumb? 
Uh, no, but I've been washing my hands a lot. I think we all have, actually. Well, it turns out we do have some people in this building who started a club. It's actually the Garden Club. They must have green thumbs. Miss Wood and Miss Caboot are hard at work holding extracurricular activities even through Google Classroom. Nothing's going to stop the Garden Club as they connect and track environmental issues and topics and nature activities. So if you're interested, the code is right there. Check it out. Great way to join an activity, even from a distance. Well, Garden Club will certainly be featured in this year's yearbook, along with a number of other things that have happened throughout the school year. The time to order is now. The ordering deadline is March 31st. We have an order code up there, as well as the link available for you to order your yearbook. Extra yearbooks will not be ordered, so the only way to get your yearbook is to place an order in advance by March 31st. So, Mr. Massey, you and I, we started a Google Classroom for everybody, right? Sure did. Yesterday, I think we tried to post an assignment to that, correct? We did. And we had a great response to that assignment. The article we sent out asked what it means to flatten the curve. And you may have heard a lot about this on the news lately. If you've been tuning in, it's hard not to have heard this term. The image that's seen on your screen right now is a depiction of what they're talking about. Generally speaking, if no action was taken, no schools were closed, and no social distancing was performed, the yellow line, the yellow area, would represent the peak number of cases with no protective measures happening. It's clearly passing that line that's in green for the capacity of the American healthcare system. What we're trying to do as a country and why you're home today and not here in the building is trying to flatten that curve so that the number of corona cases takes place over the course of time in a much more manageable way for the U.S. healthcare system. The article goes into much greater detail about this, and it's a really good read. So why things are closing? If you haven't checked out this article yet, check it out. All students have access to it. We checked it out yesterday. We had a lot of students already view it and read it and participate with it. Shout out to Nate Lamner, Abby Juno, Kevin Clark, Bethany Zimmerman, just a few of the students who took a look at this assignment on our Google Classroom. Check it out if you haven't yet. Hey, speaking of shout outs, it's time to give some shout outs. All right, well, hey, we wanna say way to go, Katie, as well as Mary working hard there on their assignments. They send in some pictures for us. Mr. Ross watching the live uh, launch of the SpaceX shuttle with his family this morning. What a great way to start your day. Mr. A is getting a shout out from Miss Glasser. He helped her set up her Wilson classroom. Thank you, Mr. A. And to one of our younger viewers out there, we hear that Shyla really enjoys the Pledge of Allegiance. Great job, everybody. Keep up the good work. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. If it's your birthday, put your hands up. If it's your birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. Congratulations goes out to Juliana, Michaela, Emma, Owen, Seamus. Franklin and Liam as they celebrate birthdays in the next couple of days. Ms. Reinish's quote of the day. Today's quote came in from a student, Brooklyn Smith. Thank you for taking the time to send this in. And her quote is, just because you're taking longer than others doesn't mean you're a failure. Keep going. I love that quote. That's a good one. Keep sending them in. Caught. Being a warrior today, Miss Billy, Miss Keenan, and Miss Valentine, they were hard at work over the past several days packaging materials for our food pantry program here at Algonquin. Those deliveries are going to go out this week, and we sincerely appreciate all the time and energy they put into making sure that no April Park student's going to go hungry. Thank you very much. And let's close it out remembering that school is not just a place. Let's make it a great day and keep doing what we're doing. And that concludes this morning's announcements. Remember, start to finish every day, we embody the warrior way.